this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Nino Kuni 2. Today's the day we are going to be finally setting sail and heading to a brand new city. We've spent a lot of time uh, in Evermore, which is my very own city, which I'm in now. Look at it, by the way. Look how, um, look how big it's got. Uh, if I got to manage my kingdom. Uh, yeah, I've built, like, a bunch of stuff. Uh, I still need more people. I still, like, I could build more stuff. But um, I need people to, to put in them, so there's really not much point. I'm um, spread very thinly at the, the moment. But yeah, we've spent a lot of time here, uh, a lot of time at Goldpore. But now uh, we're going to go to Hydropolis. So let's go and gather up all of my monies, seeing as that they've been earned, and I might as well. And then, yeah, let's... um. Let's go and head off then. So the boat, I believe, is just kind of hanging out pretty near the outside of Evermore. It takes longer to get outside of Evermore now because I've got this giant courtyard which is completely empty right now. But there we go. Here we are on the the, the open world map. This is going to be the the first time we will be setting sail in the, the boat. And hopefully it's going to, to be able to... Yeah, hopefully it's going to get us safely around the world. Which is basically where we uh, need uh, it to, to get us. So do we actually get to, to sail it? Oh! I think I'm going to be able to get to, to sail it. All aboard, looks like it ain't tidy. All right, time to set sail for seas unknown. Hoist the rudder, swab the mainsail. We are off. Uh, the basics of boats. You can access your ship via the field map. And once aboard, you'll be able to sail the seas wherever you please. That sounds good. And even the odd river or two as well. Uh, to disembark, uh, approach the coast and press X. However, be aware that you won't be able to do so near cliffs and certain other obstacles. And if you ever use the travel spell to jump to a trip door, don't worry, your boat will be brought to the nearest bit of coast at your convenience. Ah, that's uh, very good to, to know. So basically, move around and press X. Oh, there's a there's a slob. Was that a skill, skilly puddler or something? What's this thing called? We have a... I think it was like a skelly puddler. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. And uh, they are level 30, which is uh, definitely higher than the, the enemies I had been facing on the, the shore. But... Yeah, we were able to, to deal with them without too much <laughs> uh, trouble whatsoever. <clears throat> I guess we're fighting them on the boat then, so I guess things are going to be constantly jumping aboard. So should I use the old tactic tweaker? Because I'm not really bothered with this thing, basically because a lot of the, the battling has been so easy. So I don't even really fully understand it, but I can spend my battle points. Uh, you haven't increased the level of this setting yet, uh, so it's locked. Uh, go uh, press the level up setting first. Okay, uh, level it up. And then I want to be able to make it so... Uh, we're going to be strong against water type. Uh, monsters are divided into six broad categories. These are best explained by giving some uh, representative examples of uh, characteristics of each. Uh, solid bodied foes, uh, creatures such as golems or combat droids, uh, whose bodies are made of sturdy substances like rock, brick, uh, or metal. Uh, then there's, oh, slimy foes, goopy, gloopy bodies or body parts uh, such as goos and skeletons. Uh, natural foes. Okay, ones that are kind of like animals, uh, reptilian ones are kind of like the, the dragony ones, uh, and then beautiful foes are like fairies, and then brutal foes are generally humanoid in shape, uh, but are characterized by a passion for violence. Okay, I think that's enough for me to be able to, to keep track of. As said, weapons uh, or items, equipment uh, are basically better against some. You can also increase the amount of damage you deal to given types of monsters by using battle points on the tactic tweaker, which is what I'm meant to, to do. So we're pretty going to be going up against a lot of gooey ones. So do I move it this way? Uh, one damage boost uh, against slimy foes. It'll make me weaker against more solid ones. But seeing as we're going to be on the, the seas, let's go and move that across there by, by one then, shall we? Okay, it didn't make a, a huge difference. But hey, I've played with the tactic tweaker. It's been basically <laughs> ignored since uh, it was first told to me that the, the thing existed. Just because I really haven't had too much trouble with uh, with combat. But if I do I end up getting uh, against uh, a few tougher foes, it would be good to, to know. But yeah, assuming... Uh, as we are going to be around the, the water for a while. There's probably going to be a fair amount uh, of uh, of slimy foes. Quite a lot of fairy foes uh, as well we seem to be getting. And then one of the uh, the dragony ones as well. Basically there's like too much of a variety for me to really kind of hone my skills in any one particular area. But hey, at least like if I really target all of the, the slimy foes, we should be able to, to take them all relatively quickly. But as you can see, we are having absolutely no trouble against these foes. Which basically is telling me that I don't need to, to worry about like trying to, to level up too much at the, the moment uh, just because we're dealing with all of these pretty easily like I don't need to to go out of my way to, to do any combat so where are we heading then let's check the the map uh okay it's quite a distance actually across this uh this sea here so that's where we're going to so I don't know if the city is actually under the the water 
or like maybe it's on that little island which is the near the the water but for a, a kind of tiny boat we are traveling pretty far i love how fast it looks like it's going as i'm like outrunning all of these goos and stuff but oh i can see it well i can see i can see something on the the horizon while i try and dodge all, all of these enemies there's definitely something there and all that goo is really close i think my boat is just like ever so slightly faster but they are attacking me which means they are a similar level because if they are like really uh weaker enemies then they just like don't bother going for you or like they just run away from you but it looks like ah okay is this it i believe this is it here then just like in the middle of the, the water here, there's a giant coral reef there and a big whirlpool over there, which I do not want to go anywhere near. So this is Hydropolis. They always look much smaller on the, the, the outside, don't worry. I'm sure when we get inside, it's going to be uh, much, much bigger. Uh, that's just kind of like the uh, the overview of the, the map. So, right, we need to, to try and unite the, the leaders of Hydropolis to our cause and see if they want to, to team up uh, with us evermore so everyone can live happily ever after. Something along those lines are, are our goals. Oh, it's not its not looking in the best condition. It all looks a bit a bit broken, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe it's just very, very old. There's also a giant eyeball staring at us, at, as, uh, at us as we enter, which is a little bit disconcerting. Here we are at last. Hello, Hydropolis. It's ever so pretty, and the weather is lovely and warm. Ah! L lovely. My eye, I've never seen been so seasick in all my days. Ugh. An unfamiliar vessel. Inform Archon Linda right away. Yes. Yes, sir. With all haste. That doesn't seem like all haste if you ask me. <laughs> Alright, we better think of the best way to approach Queen Nera. A pretty gift or two from back home and a few sweet words will do the job nicely, I'll wager. Really? I can't help thinking that it won't be quite that simple. Well, let's not uh, curse it by getting all miserable, shall we? I'm sure she'll be a very nice woman who'll be happy to have a chat with us. We'll see. We will see. Things tend to, to not be too simple uh, around these parts, so we'll find out. Uh, but yeah, I assume that's her there. And she doesn't seem particularly friendly. I understand why the people love you so, Leander. A weak, insipid man. But love you they do. Without you, I would be nothing. That is what they whisper, is it not? Without you, our nation would be nothing, your majesty. I, above all others, know this. But the people... If they did, then... Then your life would be in danger. Malign forces would plot your downfall. This is the way of power. So I put myself forward. If the people see me, deal with me, they can only become discontented with me, can only wish to harm me. So all that you do, you do for your queen. You would give your life for her without a moment's hesitation, yes? Not without reason, your majesty. But if it might prolong your life for a single second, that would be reason enough. Such a death would bring honor upon me, upon my entire line. Insipid you may be. But you are occasionally amusing. You are too kind, Your Majesty. Hmm. Well, you wait, wish to see me? Yes. Yes, Your Majesty. A ship has arrived from a foreign land. It is a vessel unknown to us, but most likely it brings travelers, or perhaps traders. Hmm, hmm is that so? Well, whoever they are, they must obey the word of the law. There will be no exceptions. Is that understood? Not a single infraction can be tolerated. Not one. Do I make myself perfectly clear? By all means. Perfectly, your majesty. <laughs> Righto, let's, let's ourselves have a stroll around and see what we can see, shall we? Mm -hmm. Yes, let's. Hey there. Let us know when you're ready to take off, your majesty. Take your time and enjoy the sights. Tis a fine old town and no mistake. We'll be ready to set sail whenever you need us. Have fun now. Ha <laughs> ha. I love the way that like Batu's like a pirate and he got seasick. I know he's like a sky pirate and not a water pirate. <laughs> it's still quite funny though, isn't it? Are there any anything hidden around here? Aha, we got a handful of Oh, 
are berries. <laughs> Whatever our berries are. I'm sure they'll be used for some sort of recipe in the, the future. So... Looks like we might have our, our work uh, cut out for us uh, a little bit with the uh, the, the leader of um of Hydropolis. So um yeah, I reckon that she might be uh, in some way being manipulated uh, or something. Like a lot of the time when people are just outright really horrible and mean, you know, maybe it's not entirely their fault. Hey. But I guess we're gonna have to, have to wait and see. You stop right there. All foreign visitors to Hydropolis must go undergo questioning before they are permitted entry. Firstly, state your purpose here. Have you come simply to visit or trade, perhaps? We've travelled here from Evermore, a new country in the heartlands. We'd like to request an audience with Queen Neria. <laughs> <laughs> I have heard of no such nation, and the Queen offers audience with no one. It would seem that your journey has been wasted. Oh, Something tells me the news of our illustrious kingdom hasn't spread this far yet. Well, it's so, uh, it will have soon. They'll be singing our praises from the rooftops next time we're in your town. Yo, see? Excuse me. Next time you swear to abide by our four pillars of the law. Oh. Four pillars? What are they? Pillar one. It is strictly forbidden to harm one's fellow man. It is strictly forbidden to ascend to any high places of Hydropolis. Sickness is strictly forbidden. Pillar four. The last and most important. Love is absolutely and completely forbidden under any circumstances. What? Wait, 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 wait what, what did you say? That's crazy. <laughs> to the people of Hydropolis, it is nothing of the sort. There is no greater crime than to love. As long as you are a guest here, you will remember this. On pain of the most severe punishment, that will be all. <laughs> so much for strolling up with a gift or two for old Queenie. I welled you that she's as warm with her welcome as our friends. We still don't know a whole lot about her. If we're going to do this right, we'll need to learn more. Then there's only one thing for it. Mm. Yes, come on. Let's explore the town. I'm sure someone will be able to help us. Not allowed to love. Not allowed to ascend high places. I am getting a lot of uh, <laughs> of uh, flashbacks to, to Gopal. And what's with the eye? Is that like... A way that the queen, like, watches us, then? Or watches over everyone? Because I don't like that big eyeball. That's a little bit scary, if you ask me. Like, I got a weird thing with eyeballs, anyway. Like, if anything, like, goes close to my eye, or I see someone, like, like... So, say if, like, Squashy's putting in contact lenses, like, I have to, like, leave the room. <laughs> just because, like, I can't handle it. And so, just seeing, like, a giant eyeball just standing right there, it's, uh... Yeah, it's not the the nicest sight for for me. But yeah, let's go and uh, speak to, to some of the, the people around the, the town and see if we're going to be able to, to gather any information that's going to be helpful to us. Oh, hello there. <laughs> oh, hello there. You are visitors from a distant land, are you not? Then you must be surprised when you heard of our very peculiar laws. I can assure you that we local folks are equally baffled. There would appear to be no rhyme or reason behind most of them. We are merely victims of the Queen's Neria's whims. The law at forbidden love is surely one of the most ridiculous of all. We Hydropolitans have a long tradition of proposing to our intended ones with an engagement ring made from commonly coral. What will we become of what will become of this tradition now? No one knows what motivates the Queen, and we live in constant fear of what outlandish uh, edict might be passed next. And as for the Archon Leander, well, the way she treats him is nothing short of a disgrace. Okay, I only came to say hello. <laughs> I just walked up to her and she just, just, I don't know, just went off on her speech. Very, very helpful though. Very, very nice for her just to, to cut straight to the, the chase. She can see that we are, we are busy, busy people and we need to, to find out this, uh, this information uh, as quickly as, uh, as possible. So right then, it uh, looks like there's uh, two other people that we need to, to speak to. I'm not seeing many, um, many side quests popped up. I was hoping to, to try and recruit, uh, recruit half of Hydropolis to, to come back to, to Evermore, but maybe speaking to the, the Queen first would be a good idea. And oh no, what's this? Oh, what's this? Oh, is this like a giant well or something? This person seems really happy about it. What is, was this like some sort of creature? Let's go and speak to this person here. What is this thing? You there, you must not talk to Master Glacus. He's engaged in very important, well, I want to. Can I try and speak to him? Uh, Sibia has asked uh, you for a number of favors, it seems. I must uh, thank her for being so helpful. I must confess that I had no idea uh, that she was such a fine cook, uh, nor that she had such a kindly disposition. Any man would be lucky to have her. 
no idea what you're on about, but this thing is absolutely disgusting. Is this like where the, the head is? Ugh, is that his tongue? Oh, look, there's his mouth. God, it's terrifying. I don't like this thing. It's just like a giant shark just lying, just lying on the side of the, the street there. I guess like it's an easier way to go fishing. Just bring up one of them and feed the entire city for a week or something. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, this is uh, someone else that we need yeah. to, to speak to, a troubled young man. You would do no, uh, do well not to underestimate the city guard. They have eyes everywhere. Nothing escapes them. Nothing. Several of my uh, acquaintances have been thrown into prison after being caught breaking the law. And when they were certain that no one was watching, I do not understand how they do it. But the guard seem to be able to sniff out wrongdoing whenever and wherever it takes place. It is as though they have a sixth sense or a giant enormous monster eye. Some claim that the uh, Archon Leander has wondrously acute hearing, and this is how he knows of everything that happens in the kingdom, the moment it happens. But surely that cannot be true. Surely it's the giant eye. Have you not seen it? Have you, are you, have you, have you just been standing there? Or have you not noticed that there's an enormous eyeball watching over the entire city? And you're curious <laughs> how they seem to, to know everything. I think it's that thing. I think it's that thing up there is the uh, <laughs> the thing which is uh, allowing them to, to find out everything. That is what I want to, to find out a little bit more information about. I would be very surprised if the, the Queen's Palace wasn't right underneath that giant eyeball. And that is exactly uh, what she's been doing. Looking over everyone with the uh, the enormous eyeball. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Is that her palace? Is she down there? Oh, or maybe she, or maybe she's under the water. Let's go and speak to, to this person here, and then let's go and head down there. And let's see if we can uh, find out what's going on with this enormous eyeball. You ask me what I know of Queen Neria. Uh, now that you mention it, I realise that I know very little. Her Majesty seldom appears before her people. Look, you see the building with the guards with the guard. I see a single guard, not the guards, but fair enough. Uh, that is the entrance to the palace. It lies at the ocean floor, you see. And at its top stands the eye. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> I noticed that. It is supposed to symbolise the benevolence with which Her Majesty watches over us. But the rumours tell it's actually been a device she uses to spy on her own people. Whether or not this is true, we certainly never see her her interactions with the citizens are conducted via the Ark and Leander, her most trusted aide and advisor. Some even say that in truth, it is he who rules over our realm. But if that is so, what exactly it is, is it that she does? Oh, very interesting information. I think almost certainly they are using that eye to, to watch over us. Why would it like be looking around and stuff? It's disgusting. But hey, uh, I think we have found out a decent amount uh, about the, the town. Hopefully uh, the group will be able to, to formulate a, a plan now to be able to, to speak to, to her. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure we've learned an awful lot about Queen Neria that will be much use to us. No, no but we sure heard a lot about this Leander character. You're yeah, thinking the swamp might be in our way, Roland lad. Really? Interesting. Yeah, if we can get to him, we might be able to use him to get one step closer to the queen. But how would we get to him? <laughs> oh, I know. Me, me, me. Ask me. Oi. Well, what, 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 what? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Actually, I'll fill you all in on the details in a bit. Let's get us one of those thingy-mabobs first, shall we? Huh? Thingy-mabobs? Yeah, exactly. Let's try somewhere that sells accessories. Reckon they might be one over boy there. Gosh. Um, well, I don't quite understand, but all right then. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, go to the equipment shop to get a... Well, we're getting a thingy bob bob bob. I don't know exactly what Lofty's plan is. Last time, though, Lofty <laughs> had a plan, if you remember. Uh, it involved him picking his nose and uh, flicking snot. Do you remember that one? Don't look so proud of yourself, Lofty. It was disgusting, but uh, yeah, maybe maybe he's had another one of his enlightened ideas. Yeah, mate, you don't happen to sell bright red coral things, do you? Whoa, Whoa but, 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 but why would you want such a thing? Never you mind, Sunshine. Have you got one or what? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, I do. But the law forbids me to sell such an item. I dread to think how Archon Leander would react if he were to learn uh, such a flagrant breach of the laws. That said, as far as I know, there is no law that prevents me from simply giving you one. 
All I ask is that you help me in return. A fair exchange. I am sure you will agree. Yeah, I expected as much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we'll be the judge of that one, man. All right, spit it out. What kind of help are you after? Okay. I have three orders awaiting delivery, and I simply do not have the time to deliver them myself. I would be grateful if you could oblige me. You obtained a delivery for Peleus. You obtained a delivery for Proteus. You deliver uh, obtained a delivery for Triton. Right, Toe, a spot of delivery work in exchange for a nice coral ring doesn't sound too bad at all. Let's get moving, Evan. Uh, yep, I think this all, this all sounds fair enough. So, are they, are the deliveries all in Hydropolis? Aha, they are, they're all not too far away. So, yeah, so you don't need to just see me just running around delivering them. Let me, uh, cut ahead, uh, until they have all been delivered. Okay, I have made all of the, uh, the, the deliveries that I needed to, to make. So, let's go and speak back to... Ziffos, I think maybe his name might be pronounced. I don't know, I'm awful pronouncing these names. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can go and get the, uh, the the reward. You have completed your deliveries, I see. Thank you. Here is your coral ring as promised. You obtained an adoring. Oh, there is beautiful tarmate. All that I ask uh, is that you inform no one of this uh, provenance and in the name of the gods, do not allow the guards to see you wearing it. So yeah, remember, these are the, the rings that everyone uses to, to propose to each other. So maybe Lofty wants us to get trapped. Maybe he wants like us to give someone a ring and then the guards take us to the queen or something. I'm not sure, but let's find out. So that ring, it's uh, of the ones the woman was talking about, isn't it? Excuse me? Uh, what do you mean to do with it, Lofty? <laughs> uh -huh, something proper genius, that's what. But you will have to do something for me before I'll let you into my little secret. You will have to promise me uh, to call me Mr. Director, sir. Boosh. Evan, Tani, you are coming with me. Um. Okay. No idea what's about to happen. <laughs> but I, I guess we'll see. I, th I think the plan might be to try and get, like, us caught, possibly. But we'll, we'll find out. Oh, yeah, I think he's going to make Evan propose to Tanny. All right. <laughs> Wedding scene, take one. And action. <laughs> Look. Is he proposing? He could just be walking. <laughs> In a very Tony? weird way. <laughs> yes, Evan? I knew it! I knew what his well, plan was! Well, just get on with it, will you? It's make-believe, remember? Yes. Yes, of course. I... Um... I... I can bear it no longer. I care not a jot if, um, if love be forbidden. My feelings for you cannot be tamed. I must scream it from the rooftops. That's it. Go on. Uh, will you... Will you marry me? Was that the right of the ring? A marriage proposal in broad daylight? Surely not. If Master Leander finds out, they will rot a year in jail. Oh, everybody's looking. <laughs> Focus, Tanny. Time for your close-up. Take the ring. Big ring and... Well, Evan, you know what comes next. Spit it out. Uh, uh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy is loving this and poor Evan. Poor Evan hates it. What was that man? Project, boy, project! You are not in a cupboard, you are on the stage! Now pucker up, my boy! Time to go in for the kill! 
Oh, no, you don't, lad. That's my daughter, Kershi. Saved by the guards, I you think. There, you there, you two. <laughs> you are under arrest for the crime of public affection. Oh, about time. There's no use denying it. Her Majesty witnessed the entire sorry affair. Come with me. Her Majesty witnesses. Ah, with the big eye, perhaps? Well, it looks like a lofty plan worked absolutely uh, brilliantly, despite the um, questionable oh. performance from uh, <laughs> from Evan and Tani. And yeah, we're able to, to get in jail. And now maybe we're going to be able to, to speak to the, the queen herself. Sadly, though, we will not be doing that now. We will be uh, doing that at the uh, beginning of the, the, the next episode. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Well, as always, links in the description down below. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!